Hi friends, how are you? Good, we were just sledding. What are you guys up to? We were just gonna go make some hot chocolate. Do you wanna join us? Yes, please. Okay. Hi friends, it's so good to see you again. I hope you had a fantastic week. Have you seen snow yet where you live? Most of my town has been out and about decorating. It's so nice to see all of the beautiful lights around the village. It's getting colder out. Not that that bothers me much. But when the temperatures get low, I always see some of my favorite winter animals coming out to play. And in fact, I was heading to my craft area and I ran into a herd of reindeer. <laughs> As promised, I have another art project that I would very much like to share with you today. After having so much fun creating our fingerprint snowman ornaments, I wanted to make something a little different this week. Today we are creating reindeer stick puppets. Not only are they fun to make, but also so much fun to play with. Puppets are always my most available actors for any of the shows that I write. Do you like to play pretend or tell stories? I do too, and I love listening to stories. Again, let's make sure that we have a comfortable workspace and you'll wanna make sure that you have plenty of room to work because we're gonna have a lot of supplies for this project. You might wanna again have some napkins ready in case you need a quick cleanup. I know that I do sometimes. We'll be working with glue so we don't wanna find ourselves in any sticky situations. <laughs> out of my kit, I'm gonna go ahead and take out some colored paper. Now, you'll find some assorted colors in your kit. Each one is a little different, so we have our own unique set of colors to choose from. You'll notice that you're gonna have about five or so pieces of dark blue paper and two pieces of this light blue color. We're gonna set those pieces aside for another project later on. I'm also going to be grabbing the pipe cleaners, those out, a bag of buttons, a bag of pom-poms, and last, let's grab our four popsicle sticks, there they are, our glue stick, our masking tape, and scissors. Another tool that you might find useful, but not needed, is a pencil if you have one available. So let's get started with our reindeer. Reindeer are really unique creatures. They live in the very northern parts of our world in areas called tundras. You might even have them referred to as caribou. Did you know that both male and female reindeer grow antlers? They also have a really good sense of smell. I can go on and on about these animals, but let's just get right into the project. Once you're ready, our first step is going to be cutting out all of our triangles for the reindeer heads. Now, the, my reindeer that I made earlier came in all different sizes and colors. Isn't that neat? Some even had different colored antlers and noses and eyes. I like that I can use my imagination and create something unique every single time. When cutting your triangles for the head, you'll want to keep in mind what a good size might be. If I hold up my popsicle stick to my paper, you can get a better eye for how big that's going to be. A full sheet of paper looks too big, but if I fold my paper into quarters, like so, going half once, and then twice, This looks like a much better size. Now, I will either cut my triangle right from there, or if you do have a pencil, which I do, you can make a dot right at the top center of your square here. And then you can cut that dot down to each corner to make a triangle. If you want a straight line to cut from, I'm gonna either use another sheet of paper or my popsicle stick to help guide my pencil to make a line. And I'm gonna do that now. Just one side. And 
another. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. I'm gonna take my scissors. And let's see, open this up. And take your time to cut this too. And remember the lines don't have to be perfect either. All reindeer are a little different. All right. So I'm gonna set this paper aside as well. And here I have my triangle. Now I'm just gonna make one puppet as an example, but to complete your herd, you'll wanna go ahead and make three more triangles out of your construction paper. To make more triangles, you can use your first one as a stencil, or you can just freehand cut some more. Maybe you'd like a smaller triangle or a face that's bigger. Remember that these are your characters that you are creating. And remember too, you can pause this video at any time to finish your triangles. Once you are all set cutting the triangle faces, we're going to apply glue and glue these onto our popsicle sticks. You're going to take your glue stick and apply some glue about halfway down your popsicle stick. Like so. Then we're going to take our first triangle head and stick it onto our popsicle stick with the pointed end facing downward, like so. And just press that down too to make sure that it sticks. And take your time and repeat this process for the rest of your reindeer. Maybe you wanna make some of their heads tilted, like the ones I made before, some of these. And these might need some time to dry so make sure you take time to do so if you need. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna move on and put some ears on this reindeer. Now, what shape do ears remind you of? Hmm, I think they remind me of pointy leaves. <laughs> I'm gonna imagine a leaf shape while I'm cutting out my ears. To make a pair of ears, I found it easiest to take a piece of paper uh, or two pieces of paper stacked on top of each other at the same time. Now we can use some of our scrap pieces. I'm gonna use this green paper that I just used. And we're gonna see what size we should make these by looking at our reindeer head and holding the paper next to it. You can either draw yourself a stencil first or just cut these out freehand. And remember to you can always make yourself a new pair of ears if you don't like how the first one turned out. But I'm just going to draw myself some ears here. Make a little leaf shape. And since there's two pieces on top of each other, cutting out two at once. Right, and I'm gonna set this paper aside again just so it's not in the way. So when you have your ears cut out, we're gonna go ahead and glue those onto our reindeer heads. I'm gonna apply glue to half of the ear, or just a little dot, you really don't need much. And then I'm going to stick that right in the corner of the triangle like so. Let me just hold that up for you so you can see that. So it's going to go right in the corner here. And I'm just going to do that with my other ear. <laughs> All right. And there. So it should look something like this. Our next step is to make all of those finishing touches, the eyes, the nose, and the antlers. And 
let's take a look at our pom-poms and our buttons for that. We can use pom-poms for eyes and buttons for noses or buttons for eyes and pom-poms for noses. There's a lot of different possibilities. Once you have uh, what the colors you'd like picked out, uh, let's see. I would suggest laying down each color that you'd like to use for each reindeer before gluing them down. I'm gonna use this white. Oh, actually, let's see, I'm gonna use two pom-poms for eyes, I think. And let's see from this button bag. I'm gonna use this big red button for the nose. All right, so I'm pretty happy with what I picked out for this puppet. And now we're going to pick up our glue stick again and swipe either our button or our pom-poms right through the glue and then apply them to the reindeer faces. Now, let's see, the button first. All right, make sure you have enough glue on this as well. There, and I'm gonna put my nose right at the bottom, just like so. And again, make sure you press and hold that so that the glue sticks. And now I'm gonna put my pom-pom eyes right in the middle. Just one, and then two and again just press those especially with the pom-poms you want to press those into your paper just to make sure that it has a good hold all right i'm really liking how this is coming out now for the very last step before we have a completed reindeer puppet we're going to put on the antlers Time to use those really fun colored pipe cleaners that we took out at the very beginning. Again, let's look at our reindeer characters and decide which colors we want to use for each one. We do have a lot of options here. For each antler, we're gonna use one pipe cleaner. And let's see, I think for this one, I'm gonna go with this red and white one. And to make the antlers, we're gonna take each pipe cleaner and cut it in half once. And then take this piece and cut it in half again. Let's set those down. And then we're gonna take our other side and cut in half once. And then cut each of these in half as well. And don't be afraid to ask for help if you do have a helper nearby. All right. So now we're gonna have one long piece and two smaller pieces for each antler. So let's twist those smaller pieces onto the bigger one sort of like this just twist it around once just one and then this other one is going to go right underneath and i'm just going to twist that around and i'm going to straighten this out and then i'm going to kind of bend these antlers up to these pointed ends just one and i'm going to do that with my other side Again, just twist, bend upward a little bit, and then just twist. All right, so when you are done with these, you can tape them to the back. You can use glue as well, but I found tape to be the easiest and the quickest. So I'm gonna take out my masking tape. And just tape those right to the back. All right, 
There's the first one. Right there, I think this looks pretty good. And when you're all done with all four, you will have your own unique herd of reindeer. I love how each different puppet looks. They're all unique and the possibilities are endless, which I love because no two reindeer are alike. And in fact, every reindeer that I've met has a very distinct personality. Now you have the task of creating your own characters out of these puppets and performing your own play. <laughs> I just loved seeing the creations that you made last week. It filled me with so much joy to see what you created. And if you want to share again with either a photo or even a short puppet show, I would absolutely love to see and share with my friends Shelly, Emily, and Eric at the Wood Theater by tagging our posts on social media or emailing us at boxoffice at woodtheater.org. Now, I have to clean up. I made quite a mess for this project. And I can't wait to see you again next week. I feel so spoiled. Join me next time where we'll paint some winter landscapes. Goodbye for now, friends.